Everybody, welcome to a new episode of The Lockbox presented by the Grandin Group, Arizona's number one brother and sister real estate team. Today, we are up in Prescott. My sister is somewhere in here, but I brought my son, Jaden, who's gonna help uh, interview Mayor Greg of Prescott. This is an incredible interview. Um, we really wanna thank the entire town for giving us the 20 minutes to interview the mayor. I know he's probably got better things to do than talk to us, but it's a great time. We love Prescott. We are really happy and proud to be selling homes up here. If you have any questions, reach out to us. It's Jason and Stacy Grandin. Let's go meet the mayor. Today, we are really honored to be here with Mayor Greg of Prescott, Arizona. And that's always been a um, debate with people in Arizona is how do you say the name? Is it Prescott or is it Prescott? Right, well, phonetically in the way it's spelled, Prescott, but we all here call it Prescott. That's perfect. So uh, this is one of the, the most beautiful towns in Arizona, without a doubt. How did you become mayor? Well, uh, quite a long process to that. You know, we've lived here over 25 years, love the city. We've raised nine children here in town and it's been a wonderful experience for us. And we're very invested in the schools, as you would imagine. And then uh, ran for school board a number of years ago and, and served a term there. And then after that uh, was concluding, uh, I wanted to continue to give back to the community, the community that we love so much and, and, and has invested in my family. So now I feel like it's important to invest back into the community. Well, that's funny that you, uh, you talk about that because right now, not over in Pre Prescott, but up in um, the other parts of the valley, we have school board elections going on. So as a former school board member, how important is it for people to get involved in the school board? Because uh, it's an unpaid full-time position, basically. Uh, that is correct. Uh, the school board position was not paid and uh, the mayor pays a little bit, not a whole lot. But it's important for parents, I believe, to be involved in their children's education. Uh, you know, it's easy to, to be critical and, and to have all your suggestions, uh, but really to get into the arena, whether it be on a site council at a school or on a PTA or maybe even school board, uh, really important to be involved in their education. Would you consider that your stepping stone to where you're at now? Absolutely, you know, it was my first experience in politics, it's not real political on the school board here in town, but it was an election that I went through to, to get onto the school board and then really to answer to constituents, parents of, of you know, all those kids in those schools uh, was really my first foray into politics. So now as mayor, and you've been here two years, correct? So are you asking about my mayor's uh, Right. Term? right. No, how long have you been mayor? Yes. So, so I'm uh, three years uh, okay. and in my second term, first year of my second term. So. so you get to oversee everything. How challenging is it in these smaller towns, which by the way are becoming huge towns, to oversee everything? Is it starting to become more and more difficult than it was 20 years ago when you moved here? I don't really have a great perspective on that because I wasn't involved in city politics uh, back you know, 20 years ago. I would imagine things are more complex than they were back then. The budget's bigger and there's more going on. Uh, so that would be my assumption, but I, I wouldn't want to uh, say anything that might disparage my previous mayors who did a great job, I'm sure, right. of what they had at that time. Yeah, well, and it is. Prescott is a incredible place. So as your kids grew up here, correct, what kind of changes have you seen? Over the, over the years. And it's going fast because Prescott is definitely one of the fastest growing communities in the state. Well, we, we like to say that we have managed growth. We, we want to be ahead of that growth. It is growing, uh, but, but we're really careful about how we grow and, and want to make sure that we don't lose our small town feel, small town values. And I don't think that has changed. You know, the thing that really impressed us when we first came to town was the plaza and the downtown area was was thriving and, and there was a lot of life here in our downtown and that continues to be the case and something that we keep our finger on to make sure that our downtown is always thriving and people have reason to be down here and, and have a good feel downtown economically with a lot going on. But we have seen growth uh, around the perimeters of the city. Uh, you know, we're seeing a lot of growth to the north uh, we have our second hospital coming in now, which is great. We have a new airport terminal that's being built. Uh, we're adding a Hilton Garden Inn right now. Uh, that's another 100 beds, which will be a great uh, spot for folks to stay when they're in town. We're seeing the downtown kind of expand. 
when I came here, it was really just kind of around the plaza, the right. courthouse. And now we're seeing that downtown really stretch out and, and a lot more thriving businesses around the plaza. Well, that's got to be a, um, a big thing for you because tourism has increased every year. I mean, you obviously see the numbers. Yeah, we're seeing uh, tourism, you know, this year has been hard because of the pandemic, but typically uh, we're on a trajectory with tourism to continue to see that grow. We have some great lakes and trails and awesome outdoor amenities here for people to enjoy. Lots going on downtown with arts and crafts festivals. Of course, we have the world's oldest rodeo where Arizona's Christmas City. So a lot of reasons to come to Prescott. But we're also looking to diversify. And we're starting an incubator where we're gonna have new businesses that are startups. Uh, some of those folks are students from Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University. And we're really trying to diversify into tech and aerospace, and we're seeing that be successful. So we have a diversified economy. So with all that expanding, is that just in Prescott or does that feed into the other little cities? Well, of course we collaborate, particularly with Chino Valley and Prescott Valley. They're great partners and, and uh, they've been very helpful on the airport terminal and any improvements at the airport, because it's a regional airport. Even though we own it, we see it as an asset that really we want to leverage for everybody in the surrounding area. So. Uh, we, we have great collaboration. They're doing great things in Prescott Valley and Chino Valley and everybody has their strengths and areas that they need help and so we all work together. No, I, I, that's absolutely fantastic. Now, so the big thing, because since we're in real estate, housing, and there's no doubt you're running out of housing. Well, right, it's been kind of difficult. My wife works in, in the space of real estate here in town. She's done that for quite a while, so I kind of keep abreast of what's going on. And uh, we're seeing a lot of people wanting to come in. We have a pretty low inventory right now. And particularly right now, the market is a seller's market. And we're seeing, uh, you know, people competing for those homes that are on the market right now. So not a bad thing. I think what we want to do here in the Tri-City area is really look at how can we get more workforce housing and and that market from like two to 350,000 right. is really important that we have that in inventory and it's something that, that will hopefully get more of that uh, moving forward. And you're gonna see, a, are you gonna see a big uh, business boom here over the next decade? Companies bringing their uh, well, products here? We, we have seen a, a little bit of that happening from California. Uh, we have a group called CP Tech and it's a combat proven technology uh, they do a lot of software and hardware and also uh, drones. And, uh, you know, that's the kind of space we want to see expand here in Prescott. So we're seeing a little bit of that happen and maybe hopefully more in the future. Sure, sure. Now, one thing that I know everybody's proud of, and this goes clear across the state, is Prescott is Arizona's most patriotic town. Yeah, we're very proud of that. You know, we have a, a very large population of veterans in our city and we're, we're thankful for their service and, and want to do everything we can to honor them. We have a Veterans Day Parade coming up November 11th here around the plaza and we'll get the opportunity to uh, publicly and formally thank all of our veterans. But people here in the city, uh, they, they love uh, the fact that uh, we're the land of the free, home of the brave. Uh, they're very proud of their country. They display the flag a lot. Uh, they, they are very concerned that we continue those traditions of honoring uh, our military, our veterans, and uh, the Constitution. No, absolutely. And, it, and it's, it's one thing this country needs, and they can find it here, is being proud of your country. Mm -hmm. And it's great when you drive into town, you see a lot of motorcycles and the flags flying and stuff like that. Uh, we're directly across from, I think, one of the greatest monuments in Arizona, the old church. Uh, which church are you talking the about? The one, or the uh, courthouse, sorry. Oh, the courthouse. The courthouse. Okay, yeah, the courthouse is uh, very iconic. Uh, it's it's a place where people are attracted to that space, uh, great lawns around there. And during the pandemic, we've seen a lot of people just gathering there informally, uh, playing games or hanging out or just visiting or having a lunch that they bring uh, to the plaza. So we're very fortunate. Uh, you can't duplicate the courthouse right. and the plaza, it's, uh, it's a real icon. It is, it is, and it's the, definitely the centerpiece of town. Okay, so I know a lot of people want to know about you, so now we'll get personal. What do you like to do for fun? Well, my big escape, uh, my therapy, if you will, is on a mountain bike. Okay. Uh, we have about 500 miles of trails in the greater Prescott area. 
And so from my house in about 10, 15 minutes uh, on a street, I can get to a trailhead. And uh, I try to do that two or three times a week and get out by myself on a trail. Uh, I love to hunt, love to fish. Uh, just so many great opportunities here in town to get outside. And sure. I just love to be outside. And then when you're with the family, what do you guys like to do for fun? Yeah, you know, uh, we're, we're kind of homebodies. It's kind of funny. We, we like staying at home on the back deck around the fire, and, and uh, we like to play cards and games and just have fun at home. But uh, when we get out, we like to go to the lake. We'll either go to Lake Pleasant or Lake Powell and get out on the boat and and have some fun out there on the water. All right, and then favorite place to eat, and then there are some great places, wow. and, and they're not commercialized here. This so. is uh, this is a tough one. Uh, you know, everyone's <laughs> going to be watching to see what I have to say here, but we have so many great offerings. You know, they're all mom and pop. You know, we we have a few chains here, but uh, there's so many great offerings uh, around town that are all just local flavor. Uh, you know, Rose's Pizzeria, the Barley Hound, Elgato Azul. Uh, Murphy's, Gurley Street Grill. Um, I can go on and on and on. There's so many. I, I I can't just pick one. No, absolutely. It's great. Favorite band? Oh, my favorite band. Well, Five in the Wheel is pretty good, uh, mostly country flavor. And so we haven't seen a lot of that lately. So hopefully they'll start coming back. This is great. So for all of you watching, this is uh, probably one of the uh, finest mayors in the state. Easy, uh, accessible to, to talk to them. You answer your emails, which I think is just absolutely fantastic. So you guys get a trip, come on up here to Prescott, Arizona, check it out, support the town, support the locals. It's an absolute beautiful community. And if you're looking at houses, you better get moving on it because they're selling out quick, right? That's right. Perfect. Is there anything else you want to tell your uh, fans? I don't, I don't think so. You know, we just uh, love having the folks uh, from around the state visit Prescott. Always welcome here and uh, want to take good care of those people that uh, come and and come to Prescott, Arizona. Well, I appreciate it. That, that is great. We do have one extra treat for you. We're going to have uh, Jaden Grandin ask you a couple questions. But I uh, want to thank you for your time today. All right, thank you. Thank you. Jaden, my son here. And uh, he's got a few questions for uh, Mayor Greg of Prescott. I'm going to step out. Great meeting you. Yeah, thank you. Good luck. Awesome. Thank you, Jaden. Well, thank you, Mayor Greg, for answering for my questions. It's very nice to meet you. So I just want to ask you, so I've heard that Prescott is a very patriotic town and stuff. So how would you describe the community? If somebody was like looking at Prescott to move here, how would you tell them the, how the community is? Mm -hmm. Well, the, you know, the title, the most patriotic city is, is very relevant for us. Uh, we, we love our small town values. We take care of each other. We're very neighborly. And so we're kind of traditional that way. I think, uh, you know, where, where we're sort of that. Uh, Midwestern town uh, that you find here in Arizona where uh, we take care of each other and and uh, really come out when there's a community event and everybody participates. That's awesome. Yeah, and then uh, I understand that uh, Ari Prescott is Arizona's first territorial capital and so I kind of want to ask you about some of the history of Prescott. Yeah, that's right. So we've been the territorial capital a couple different times uh, back in 1864, I believe, uh, is when it got started. And, uh, you know, I think because of the mining and the cattle industry and everything, this was kind of seen as a focal point in the state. And so I think that's why uh, the territorial capital started here in Prescott. Uh, we do have the governor's mansion here uh, in, in, at the uh, Charlotte Hall Museum. And so that's a great stop. Uh, if folks are more interested in our history, uh, I would head over to Charlotte Hall Museum. And so check. how was the holidays here too? Like, how, is uh, you guys pretty festive, like with Christmas, Fourth of July, Halloween mm -hmm. and such? Yeah, we mentioned the Veterans Day Parade. Fourth of July is a huge deal for us. It was really difficult for us to cancel our parade and some of those festivities around the Fourth of July. But Fourth of July is a huge deal for us with the rodeo and just uh, folks wanting to come out and celebrate our freedom. And then we're Arizona's Christmas City. And so uh, here coming up really soon, lots of great activities that we intend to uh, hold here in the city uh, in the midst of the pandemic. We think we can do it safely because there are mostly outdoor events. So. Uh, yeah, Christmas is a really big deal for us. Awesome. And how is the schooling going too in Prescott right now? I think you guys open. Are most schools open? Right? right. So schools mixed bag. You know, most private schools are open. Uh, there's some s smaller schools that are starting to open, and then uh, Prescott Unified School District is on a hybrid system right now. Okay. So my kids are going to two days a week traditional classroom in person. And then the other three days of the week, you either do virtual or you can go into school and do virtual there. Yeah, and are there like a lot of clubs and things that kids can do outside of school? 
Uh, absolutely. You know, there's a lot of different opportunities for kids here in the city to get involved and, and uh, you know, even at the schools as well, lots of great clubs and extracurricular. And I've heard that, I think you were talking about this before, there's a ton of stuff to do in Prescott, like on your leisure time. Like, is there a bunch of hiking and stuff to do? Yeah, that's right. I mean, it's mostly outdoor based, uh, but, uh, you know, trails and uh, lakes and uh, lots of opportunities. So this would be the perfect place for somebody that really likes to get out in the nature. And stuff absolutely. Explore. Yeah, awesome. absolutely. Well, thank you for answering my questions. Yeah, thank you. 